Game number two, the Pittsburgh Penguins at the New York Islanders. Game time, 7.30 Eastern time, 4.30 Pacific. And it appears as if the Penguins are secure in that playoff spot, the third spot in the Metro Division. But, you know, don't look now. If you look behind you, the Washington Capitals, the team that we, we kind of buried a little bit, uh, they are just four points behind the Penguins with two games in hand. So this is not over yet. Uh, the Washington Capitals are playing probably their best hockey of the year or at least as good as they've played all season long. So this is a very important game for Pittsburgh. And for the Islanders, they likely will be the best team in, in the NHL to not make the postseason this year. They are really sending a message for, la for next year as to uh, their dominance and, and what they're going to bring to the table uh, in 22-23. In Remember, they started the season out with that long road trip that really, you know, to me was uh, almost a dagger in their whole season. I, and it wasn't because of their arena issue, but uh, or, or not opening yet. This is That was something that really put them behind the eight ball. And I really think if the Islanders played a normal schedule, they'd be right in, uh, right in the postseason, if not in that top three in that division. Let's take a look at the number tonight. Pittsburgh Minus a dollar twenty-eight. It opened at minus a dollar thirty, which means we're getting some Islander money as expected. Totals five and a half minus a dollar ten. There's been no movement uh, on that number at all. So Islander money coming in early from the public. Uh, list of goaltenders tonight. Occur, of course, Jari will start for Pittsburgh. Sorokin for the Islanders. They are listed. Make sure you check that before you make your wager. And, and look, guys. You know, I said it before, the Islanders are probably the best team to not make the postseason this year. They're not going to make it, uh, despite a little bit of a push from Islander fans as to why they actually could still. But they return home after a decent road trip. Uh, they went 3-2 and two on the road trip. They beat the Rangers. They beat Carolina. They're fresh off of a 6-1 a beatdown of St. Louis, which, you know, they uh, took it on the chin on that one. But that's a good thing for us. I like the Islanders coming in with a little bit of a chip on their shoulder after not only getting beat, but beaten thoroughly uh, in that last game. They, the Islanders have one of the most underrated goaltending tandems in the league. If I asked you quickly, who's second in the National Hockey League in shutouts as far as tandems are concerned, uh, you would be, you'd probably go far down the list before you got to uh, Sorokin and Varlama. But indeed, they are second in the NHL. Uh, to Calgary, and really that's only because of Jacob Markstrom. So uh, that goaltending tandem in, in New York is pretty potent, and I think uh, moving forward, that is a team that, especially this year, this is it's not a go automatic go against just because they're not going to make the postseason. Um, we talk about regulation wins in the previous game. No more has no one has more regulation wins over the last month than the New York Islanders, and they have 11. That's two more than Toronto. That's two more than, than Calgary. Two teams that are going to go into the postseason that we think are going to go deep into the postseason. Pittsburgh is 8-6 and six over their last 14, but two of those wins came in extra sessions. So really, I kind of count that as a, as a 500 run over the last 14. The Penguins are playing their third game in their last four nights. They're just 4-9 and nine in that situation historically. So the Pens... Not really good when you're bunching a lot of games together and you expect them to come out every single night and, and bring the same intensity level as they did the previous night. This is not a good situation usually uh, for Pittsburgh. I'm not going to go against the Red Hot and New York Islanders here. Let's go to my official selection. We're going to take another plus money price. It's a small plus money price, but we'll take it anyway. Plus a dollar eight with the Islanders. They are not only red hot, but they are especially scorching hot at home where they've won seven of their last eight. I think they bounce back tonight after that loss against St. Louis nicely, and we'll take that generous plus money from the odds maker.